in a world of bad characters, analysts say Miguel Angel Trevino Morales held a special place. He was the most sadistic cartel leader in the Americas. Trevino, leader of the notorious Zetas drug cartel, is now in the custody of Mexican authorities, arrested Monday just across the border from the U.S. William and Mary Professor George Grayson, an expert on the Zetas, says with the capture of Trevino, an absolute demon has been removed. One of his alleged favorite tactics, El Guiso, or the stew. He delighted in putting his victims in barrels, pouring gasoline over them, and then setting them on fire until they were nothing more than a, a crisp uh, set of ashes. Trevino's other signatures, beheadings, and leaving the bodies of rivals or those who'd otherwise crossed the cartel hanging from bridges. Analysts say he and the Zetas, in different incidents a few years ago, killed dozens of migrants trying to get to the U.S., including these victims left in a warehouse just south of the border. He tried to recruit them as uh, perhaps couriers or lookouts for Los Zetas, and uh, when that didn't work, he bashed their heads in with, uh, with sledgehammers. Grayson cites another recruiting tactic of Trevino's, detailed in a 2011 Houston Chronicle interview with a member of the Zetas. He told the Chronicle that on at least one occasion, the Zetas hijacked a bus, forced the young men out, and gave them weapons. And he would have them fight each other until the last man was standing. And then he would say, well, you are now worthy to become a Zeta. Analysts say Trevino relished in this kind of sadism, but also did it to instill fear in rivals and the police. It was effective. The Zetas are now Mexico's second largest cartel, controlling much of the drug flow into America. And Trevino's reach of violence also extends into the U.S. There have been reports that he was responsible for, for some executions or killings in the United States. Uh, and certainly the, the Zetas have, uh, if not their own cells, but they do work with, uh, with gangs and organized crime units in various American cities. With Miguel Angel Trevino's capture, who will now take control over the Zetas? Analysts say his younger brother Omar is a potential candidate, but they also say that Omar is a far weaker person meaning the struggle for control of this cartel will likely be very messy and very violent. Wolf.